Hi everyone, welcome back to the Bright Sellers YouTube channel. My name is Allie and today we're doing something that I'm incredibly excited about, which is going through the best holiday pie and wine pairings. So let's get started. So to kick us off, we're going to be getting started with a um, non-pie lover's pie, I would say. So it's going to be lemon meringue. It's not very classic holiday, but it's still delicious nonetheless. So obviously with lemon, you're going to be getting notes of citrus, which is very acidic. And for that reason, we're going to be pairing it with an unoaked Chardonnay. So in an unoaked Chardonnay, you're going to be getting also a lot of citrus flavors. So you're going to be getting lemon, lime, um, maybe some notes of orange, or definitely a lot of citrus fruit. So that's going to pair really well with the lemon meringue pie because the acidity is going to balance each other out. So you're going to be getting a lot of the same flavors, but um, with a creaminess in an unoaked Chardonnay, which um, you might not get in a lot of other white wines, it's going to pair really, really well together. So um, lemon meringue, unoaked Chardonnay, match made in heaven. Moving on to a much more classic holiday pie, we have pecan pie, which um, obviously is going to be very sweet. You have your sugar nuts, you have your caramel flavors, um, and it's just all around a very sweet pie. And for that reason, we're going to be pairing it with a very sweet wine as well. So right here we have a Riesling, but honestly, if you have any kind of like sweet wines that you prefer, maybe a Moscato, maybe like a Gewürztraminer, um, it's going to pair really well. So the sweetness of the pie is going to, similarly to the acidity in the lemon meringue pie, it's going to complement each other. Moving on to a lot more richer flavors for your holiday party, um, we have a cherry pie that's going to pair really, really well with a Zinfandel. So um, in a cherry pie or kind of a similar pie, you're gonna have very like rich, dark fruit, jammy flavors um, that are gonna pair with very rich, dark fruit, jammy flavors that you're gonna find in the Zinfandel as well. So even if maybe cherry pie is not really your jam, um, you could do like a mixed berry pie, you could do like a blueberry pie, um, that's still gonna complement a Zinfandel really well. Moving on to my absolute favorite pairing that we're doing in this video, maybe my favorite wine and food pairing of all time, um, apple pie and a very classic red blend. So this is gonna be a people pleaser across the board. Um, with a red blend, specifically like our Folk and Fable uh, that we have right here, you're gonna be getting a lot of baking spices that are very prevalent in this. So that's gonna be vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, very classic holiday flavors, um, very delicious. Um, but th those kind of flavors are definitely going to be very prevalent also in an apple pie. So very cinnamony, very sweet, but also kind of rich as well. All in all, it's just a very classic pairing that's going to go over really well at your holiday party. Moving on to our final pairing for this video, we're going to have a very classic holiday pumpkin pie with a very classic Pinot Noir. So with a pumpkin pie, you're going to be getting very rich, earthy flavors um, that's gonna be coming out through the cinnamon and the pumpkin. Um, so that's gonna pair really, really well with a Pinot Noir. So a Pinot Noir is uh, very light for a red, but you're also gonna be getting kind of a combination of like earthy tones mixed with baking spices, which you guessed it, pairs really, really well with the earthy tones and the baking spices in a pumpkin pie. So going into this holiday season, I hope this gives you a little bit better idea of what wine goes with what pie um, and what you can bring to your next holiday party. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest content and wine wisdom that Bright Sellers can share with you.